So I decided to voice the in-depth Warframe analysis in a rather strange manner. Welcome to the in-depth Warframe analysis. I presumed it was a good idea. Viewers seem to like content creators who make weird voices and when even Google's advanced speech recognition identified the spoken language as Dutch, I thought it was pretty great. Other people, not so much. I originally assumed the narration being overly monotone and dragged out would not be a problem because, after all, that should be the natural habitat of Warframe players. But I suppose everyone needs some contrast in their life. So let's try something different. Forget the in-depth Warframe analysis for now. Let's see how you like this one. Behold! The Super Grindfest Highlight! It was supposed to be superficial grindfest highlight, but I think that has way too many syllables for the attention span I am dealing with here. So, anyways, welcome! Today we will be looking at the Leto Vandal. This pistol is not very notable because of its gameplay performance, but it has been a cause of many heated discussions and arguments. Leto Vandal was originally given out to everyone who participated in Warframe's closed beta, which ran from late 2012 to early 2013. It seemed like an okay idea at the time, but as more and more new players who didn't have the weapon joined, the amount of whining increased proportionally. That was still nothing compared to the flood of angst and animosity from the beta players when this happened on DevStream 94. Whatever happened to bringing back the Lado and Bratton Vandal variants as discussed on polls, which mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. whatever happened to them? Uh, I think we're bringing it back. I think we're, <laughs> I think we're, bringing, we're bringing it back. I think we're bringing it back. These are inevitable things to bring back. <laughs> <laughs> At the time of recording, we still have yet to see in what form and under what conditions the two closed beta weapons will be reintroduced, but when they inevitably are, they probably won't be very popular. Most of Leto Vandal's appeal lies in its exclusivity. And with that gone, it's just another mediocre sidearm. Leto Vandal is still a substantial upgrade over the start of Leto, better in most regards. Like Leto, Leto Wendell deals primarily slash damage, which is something I still don't quite understand. Puncture damage is pretty straightforward, impact… okay. I can see how it's slash damage with weapons like Panthera, but how exactly does a bullet do that? This is the best explanation I have. Anyhow, Leto Vandal is sort of okay, but don't expect it to be the one-hit-kill-everything gun you always wanted. Here is my 10 forma build, which I guess is alright, but unless you are crazy, you are better off polarizing other, stronger weapons instead. Leto Vandal can get pretty ridiculous with a good ribbon mod, but right now that basically applies to most, if not all, weapons in the game. In conclusion, don't be super hyped about it being obtainable again. It's nothing groundbreaking. It's nice that it makes a return and it looks pretty good, but that is more or less it. Oh, and tell me in the comments if this is more digestible than the way in-depth Warframe analysis is done. Or else I will bring that back.